leaving this place. Three more buses. And the change is that those devotees who uh, assume that they were uh, able to catch their flight on the three o'clock afternoon bus uh, should note that they will have to take the bus at 12 o'clock. Uh, only two buses are leaving at 12 o'clock and the third one is leaving at three o'clock in the afternoon. But the three o'clock afternoon bus is only for devotees whose flight departure is after 8.30 in the evening. Please take note of this because for many of you this will be a change and right after the program you'll not only have to pack your luggage for that 12 o'clock departure, but you'll also have to vacate the rooms immediately because all the uh, cleaning uh, teams are waiting to clean your rooms for the next group that is coming today. Okay, please take note. If there are any questions, ask my wife, Krishna Devi, or myself. Okay? Thank you very much. Hare Krishna. Krishna Devi? Where is Krishna Devi? Behind? Please come. Thank you. Uh, we um, <laughs> thank you very much, Shira Gurudev, and um, ESK. First, that uh, this is the main thing that we we were thinking, and then. Um, we want to, uh, we have a dream, me and my husband, to uh, arrange a big, big festival. <laughs> Especially because Gurudev is a very, very important personality and he deserves this, you know. He deserves this and more than this. Uh, he's a special, special... I think it's difficult to speak about oneself. So I just want to jump in, be bold, and say one minute about this family. Uh, Gurdjieff is like a lotus flower, and when the lotus flower opens in the in sunshine, its pollen is spread and it scents the air. And this family, Lila Purushottam, Prabhu and his wife and his two children, three children, sorry, they're like the beautiful pollen scent that scent the air. How much work they've done to create this and also in other years, it's amazing. Totally reliable, completely dependable. The creation and the hard work that they've put in in a beautiful place, Venezia, like Venice, uh, ruled by Venus, the goddess of art and creativity. What more beautiful place could you come to to have a festival to hear from a Mahabhagavad like Srila Gurudev? It's, it's important to mention that we come here and we take... We take advantage of the facility and it's a beautiful facility, but behind the scenes, how much work is put in. Hari Namananda Prabhu can tell you how much work it is to put a festival like this together. I. I feel a lot of emotion when I think about their love and dedication to Gurudev. So please give them a round of applause. Appreciation. Thank you. Thank you. I 
would just like to add a few words to that. Um, Lilo Pur, Sultan Prabhu, and uh, his two wonderful sons and very sweet, wonderful daughter. They're so dedicated, they're so kind, so accommodating. There wasn't a moment when they weren't sweet and peaceful and friendly to everyone. Very generous, forthcoming, very affectionate, wonderful devotees, which is not to be taken for granted. And the number of hours that they put in, my wife can confirm because she was there with them. And we're talking about uh, 16, 18 hour days behind the desk organizing, talking to people, etc. and so on. Being there constantly, selflessly, enormous amount of work, enormous responsibility, and they're very courageous and selfless. They take it on as if it were nothing. They're wonderful, committed devotees, uh, and I'm very close to my heart. They're my friends. L'unica cosa che volevo dire è offrire gli omaggi ancora in anni di volte ai piedi di lotta di, di Shira Gurudeva e ringraziarlo immensamente se mi è concesso per la, perché lui ancora gira e ci vuole dare rifugio e ringraziare anche tutti i Vaishnava, i Sanyasi, i Vaishnava e le Vaishnavi presenti. Vaishnavas for coming also. Also, all the sannyasis, they spoke beautifully, and Prem Prayojan Prabhu, all the devotees, they spoke wonderfully. They gave great lectures. And Samarani Didi, yes, Samarani Didi also. And the kirtans were fabulous. Yeah. 
from the fabulous Kirtan. And there were many, many other devotees. I, I you know, uh, Hari Namananda's wife and there's so many other people, the persons who served Prashad again and again, Uma Didi and her. The dramas were so wonderful, huh? Everyone liked the dramas. <laughs> Daughter, yes. The whole day, their daughter was working very, very hard. Very good, in the kitchen. The kitchen crew, let's give a big hand for the kitchen crew. And all of you, you were wonderful. You came to hear how to talk. Yeah, I <laughs> But uh, we owe everything to Gurudev. I am remembering on the first day when he was describing the form of Krishna with the flute and peacock feather and flowers in his hair and he began to laugh and then he began to cry and this laughing and crying this ecstasy this praying that he was expressing and broadcasting from his heart this was the real nectar that we came here, the real medicine we came to get for our hearts. When we did the drama and we made him laugh and then he was weeping and uh, broadcasting that praying, this also so much uh, happiness to see the sadhu broadcasting praying. How we will ever find such a magnanimous soul? Like Mahaprabhu, he is going everywhere and distributing love of God, praying, he is broadcasting from his heart to everyone, everywhere. How we will find such a personality like this? We are so lucky. So try to take this path, this praying that Gurudev has a broadcast from his heart to all of you. Try to take it home, as Gurudev says, in your heart pocket. And to keep it with you all the time. And when you are doing your bhajan, and when you are doing your kirtan, and when you are doing your japa, you try to relish and remember the spring that was being expressed here today. And you again relive the ecstasy of this festival. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna. One more thing. He cannot do what he is doing without Madhava Maharaj and Abhijana. We have to give them a big hand, big applause, because they make it possible. Thank you very much. Hare. I think this festival all round successful. Good prasadam, good management, a very high class of Hari Katha. I want that all my disciples 
to whom I have given Harina and Diksha. They shall be strong to chant name as much as they can, but not less than sixteen. Daily three times Diksha Mantra without fail. One in morning, one in afternoon, but if you can do cannot do in mid time, oh you should do in morning two times, one for morning and one for and one in evening. Don't fail. I have heard from so many sources that here the body are very spoiled. But after my departure, they became very weak. Sometimes they chant or they hang it on a high place and never chant. Also they don't meditate Diksha Mantra because no sadhu -sank. Lack of sadhu sang is there. Sadhu sang, sadhu sang, sarva siddhi hai. Law matra sadhu sang, sarva siddhi hai. You can come in Vrindavan Bharat Mandal Parikrama if no money problem. I am inviting you. And if you can come, Naudhi Parikrama in February, March, before February, who can come also. What we have discussed here in class, taking your heart, read our books, and especially I have seen a Bhakti Vedan Swami Maharaj inspired his old disciples, lady or male, to distribute his books even in the midst of ocean, top of hills, here and there, school, college, university, everywhere. So I request my all disciples that you should also distribute my books everywhere, door to door. Here 90% has gun books, but why 10% is remaining? Oh, I think that you should, remaining 10% you should take and distribute here and there. I want that my table should be empty. And what I have told, again I am telling you, keep your in your heart and be happy for it. Go Prima! Krishna Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare Hare